Hi there, Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Got the final part three of the uh, PlayStation 5 controller modeling exercise. So as you can see, uh, since my last model, I have populated this with buttons and holes and ports to kind of wrap it up and some fillets and some rebates, like rebated part lines, just to tidy it up. So that's as far as I'm gonna go with this model. There's not much else I can do with it in here. If I was going to render it, I'll probably do the overmolded buttons within my rendering software. So the exercise was not to uh, model everything into the minute detail, but was to capture the general form, uh, like the surfacing um, challenges around capturing the form, buttons, large buttons on the front, uh, and the blends around the back here. Okay, so let's... Uh, have a look at it with Zebra now. Okay, and we'll turn our edges off. So generally, fairly happy with it. There's some wrinkles in here now and then. If anybody wants to download this model, I will put it in the description. It's for learning purposes, so please don't go adding textures and then sticking it on Turbo Squid or anything like that, okay? Because that would be a real downer. Otherwise, I can defeature it and get rid of all the buttons and the logos and just leave the raw surfaces. But let's put the whole thing up for now. Okay. So, yeah, there's a few wiggles and wobbles here and there. Mainly on the smaller surfaces uh, where I kind of um, ran out of energy, to be honest. Seeing this as an unpaid gig. Looking at probably, I don't know, 70 plus hours on this, I'm guessing. Yeah, so, but I, I had a, you know, quite a bit of, uh, quite a bit of challenge trying to get these main forms in place, uh, it was quite enjoyable, so yeah, if you want to pick this model apart, I say have at it, there's, um, some of these surfaces are well over defined with lots and lots of cross curves, um, there you go, you can see the wiggle in there, um, the yeah, SolidWorks is fairly, how will we say, labour intensive to try and control surfaces like this. So yeah, anybody out there that's uh, modelling stuff like this for manufacturing in SolidWorks, that's uh, that's a good effort, that's what I can say. Anyway, uh, I'm not quite sure what else to just go over on this. We'll just roll, I'm not going to roll through the tree. Oh, let's just spin it around with the uh, edges off. I won't roll through the tree because it's, it's pretty long, um, but I have named each, each section of the uh, the tree. You know, each stage of the modelling. I'm not using folders because I use a flat tree view. So I found out there's a major performance hit if you use folders to tidy up your model and then you alternate between folders and flat tree view. Uh, really didn't like it. Um, so I just left it in flat tree view. So that's why you can see here I've got six asterisks and then and then the um, the name of the, the sort of block of work underneath it. So you can scroll up and down through there and have a look. Yeah, so this was definitely one of the more challenging areas, this quite tight radius that runs around and then flares out into the underside of the product. Uh, other challenging areas, these front buttons were actually quite challenging, just trying to rationalise the forms. Um, I got that blend on underneath, on the back in the end. This area, quite challenging, went over it in part two. Uh, and also this area up here, because the D-pads, uh, the surfaces are quite quite flat here and then they the curvature increases as it runs down the handle so if you look at the actual product there is actually quite a tight highlight up through here that runs it uh, opens up quite quickly so a little bit awkward but um, went right in the end so overall looking at just over a thousand features in here um, pretty much all surfaces, um, used a few solids in the end for the some of the buttons, um, but pretty much just surfaces. So if you're thinking of 3D printing anything off this, uh, you'll have to do more work. Only last thing to mention, I haven't really bothered to go through and, and name all of the features. Uh, it's just too laborious. Uh, I just thought better wrap this up. Some of them named, but you should be able to find your way around. If you if you if you learn anything out of this model, 
I've got a super thanks button, be much appreciated. Uh, otherwise, this is free. Um, someone asked if I wanted to do a Patreon, but um, I kind of prefer not to because then people will have expectations and I I fit this in around my um, client work. So if I'm a bit quiet with client work and get some videos done, if I'm busy, then you won't see me for a while. So anyway, I, as I said, I'll put this in the description. This is uh, the PS5 controller version 60. I will upload it without the 3D scan. The 3D scan I split out into an assembly so I could uh, overlay the two just to get rid of uh, any heaviness from having the STO import in here. So there we go, that's the part three of the PS5 controller uh, modeled in SolidWorks using surfaces. Um, and as I said, the model's in the description so you can download it. Uh, thanks for watching. Andrew Jackson, AJ Design Studio. Bye.